Many of us lead busy lives. We wear many hats. And because we wear so many hats, it can actually feel like we're being pulled in 10 different directions all at once. Everyone seems to require a different version of us, right? And you might be a wife and a mom and a sister and an employee or a business owner. You might be in ministry. You might be doing different things in your community with volunteering. You might be a PTA president, you name it. And you feel like all these different places and spaces and people require a different version of you. And it feels like you have to transform Every time you have to show up in a different place, you have to be a different person. And I want to encourage you today that you don't. Today is October 16th, 2024. And the word for today is one. One. And when I first wrote this, because I actually started writing this one in my journal earlier today, it was maybe after five o'clock this morning. And I was just thinking about what do I really want to communicate when I talk to you today? And one of the things is that you don't have to be all things to all people. And you don't have to be 20 different things to 20 different people. Your only responsibility in terms of your authenticity, in terms of the way that you show up, your only responsibility is to be you. And it takes some effort and it takes some introspection to really hone in on who she is when I talk about being you, because many of us are showing up as we are expected to and not as we are, because we don't know who we are. And that's not necessarily your fault because you may not have been given a chance to explore who she is. So when we look at the word one today and we talk about oneness, I'm talking about your perception of yourself, the reality of who you are spiritually, the reality of who God, your creator says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made in his image, made complete and yet with exponential potential. Sit with that for a second. You are made complete and yet with exponential potential because God doesn't make sense. (laughs) How can you be complete and yet still be able to grow? This is the beauty of being a woman. And this is the beauty of being a woman who is aligned with the victorious vision that God has for her. You were not created to struggle through life. You were not created to be at odds with yourself. You were not created to be confused. You were created to be an attractive solution to the world. But that only happens when you embrace all of who you are, when you are at one within yourself. So when I talk about one, I'm talking about you. There is a beautiful scripture. It is John 17, 21 to 23. And Jesus is talking about how he wants us to be one with him as he and the father are one. When you truly recognize who you are, and you are aligned with who you are, something beautifully divine happens and you connect spiritually in such a wonderful way, in such a powerful way. And you finally become the woman who you are supposed to be. And yet there's more to you. I love that. I love that we don't get to a pinnacle and that's all there is. I love that we get to be complete and yet still have potential because you are a spiritual being. You're not just a woman. And I cannot 
talk to you today about being one without talking about who you are spiritually, because that's where it stems from. That's where it comes from. And until you are at one with yourself spiritually, you will not feel complete. You will not feel whole. You will not feel confident. It'll always feel like you're performing instead of presenting. When you present yourself, you present all of yourself. Doesn't mean that you reveal all of yourself, but you prevent, you present all that is needed in that moment. If you look at, okay, I'm going to use my phone as an example. If I hold it up like this, you see the back of my phone. If I hold it up like this, you see the front of my phone. If I hold it like this, you see the side of my phone. It's still a phone. It's still completely what it is. You're just seeing a different angle depending on where I position this or depending on where you are positioned. So you are one woman. Different people will require different parts of you. That does not mean that you need to change and morph and mold into every environment that you fit in. Be who you are, no matter where you go. And that's easier said than done. I know this. Because if you don't know who you are, you will exhaust yourself trying to be who you think you're needed to be for the child, for the husband, for the parent, for the friend, for the brother or the sister, for the boss, for the community, for whoever else needs you. So becoming one, and I say becoming because it's learned. Becoming one is necessary, so incredibly necessary to your vision. When you start creating your vision board or your list or however you want to do it, when you start doing that, it has to come from within and it has to come from all of who you are. We can't have a one-sided vision. We need to have a 360 degree vision of life. So even though that vision may have different elements to it, they are all harmonized into one vision. That's why one of the first things I do when I sit down with women is we go through that visionary life sheet. And what the visionary life sheet does, it gives you 12 areas of your life, which every single woman has. There is no woman who these areas will not impact or who is not impacted by all these areas, right? What you do is you look at your entire life. You look at your entire life as one, my microphone's in the way. <laughs> you look at your entire life as one unit and you're turning that. You're Imagine it's like a circle and you're turning it upside down and you're looking at it from every single possible angle so that when you're done, the vision that you create is not one-sided. The vision that you create is not flat because that's not you. You are multifaceted, multidimensional, multi-talented. So your vision has to have multiple elements because you as one woman are comprised of multiple elements. And unless you create a vision that speaks to every single part of you, you're going to feel unfulfilled. You're going to feel like something's missing, like something's broken. And that's because you don't have that one vision. You don't have that oneness, but it starts from within. So I want to encourage you today. There is a link in the description box for you to download the life sheet. Download that life sheet. It's going to be the first link. 
the second link I'm going to post is for those of you who, after you have downloaded the life sheet, you've had some aha moments and you want to have a conversation. I have a complimentary call. It's called an illumination call. It is 20 minutes. I can sit with you and we can just talk through where you are, what you're going through and what you want to do next. I really hope this helps. Blessings on your journey, and I will talk to you soon.